Hi, welcome to Icing Images. I am Debbie, the founder and CEO, and I am here today to discuss with you a question that we have pretty often in regards to the quality of images that people are getting when they print them out on an edible printer. The basic rule of thumb you have to remember is what you see is what you get. And in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between uh, different types of pictures that you see. A lot of people are getting images off the internet these days, and I need to show you what to look for um, in choosing an image. The majority of the people who call with color problems when it is not an issue with their printer or a technical difficulty it is their picture that they're starting with. Uh, most people these days, if they don't have a picture from their customer, they're going to Google and they're typing in what it is that they are looking for. So you got to be real careful here. And, and the reason why is there is a lot of copywritten in, uh, pictures. And if you get caught, it's your business, your life, and they will come after you. They're going into images. And this is the type of thing that comes up. Um, tons of different images. Some of these are license free. Some of them, them are not. Some of them tell you if they are. Sometimes they tell you if they're not. There's a good way to kind of t see where you can get uh, where you can get your licenses from. Um, there's Creative Commons licenses and commercial licenses, and this will kind of direct you where to go um, to get the license information. Um, see, it tells you that it's licensable here, and so you can call and actually get those licensed images. So they type in happy face, they go to images, and all these different happy faces come up. And you have some orange ones, you have some orange and yellow ones, you have some almost greenish hues to it, um, you have just plain, well, that's kind of an orange. Here's a yellow. They're all different colors. And, um, you know, it, it, you got to be careful in choosing the image. So one thing you want to do is make sure that you have um, a good large image to start with. So I like to go to tools and then go to size and then hit large. And that way I think I have a fighting chance as to figuring out whether or not my image is going to be of higher quality or not. I found this great website, Pixel Chart, um, from nationsphotolab.com forward slash pixelchart.aspx. And what's nice about this is it tells you, okay, if you were looking to print out an 8.5 by 11 or 8 by 10, let's say, it tells you for the best quality, um, you should have 2400 by 3000 pixels. Um, minimum requirement is 1000 by 1250 um, and honestly the minimum requirement is fine sometimes if it gets too big it takes forever to, to upload your picture to iPrint or to download it to any other uh, site that you're using or, or uh, program that you're using now if you scroll down and you have no idea what size your image is you can actually go to browse and you can pick up an image open it up and it tells you that that image's dimensions are 480 pixels by 480. Um, and that is useful because then you kind of know if it's within that range. There's a chart right here as well telling you the same information as above. And it's showing me that uh, the recommended size is 1000 by 1250 pixels. And so we know that this image, if I'm going to blow it up into an 8 by 10, it's going to be too small and could get pixelated. Um, and what's nice is it does tell you, you can kind of see, okay, it's 480 by 480. If I come in somewhere about a 3 by 5, the picture's fine um, if you're blowing it up. So this is a great little tool to use. Now, going back to the happy faces, so one other way that will help you to know, okay, is this image right here or right here, whichever image it is, uh, it, what size is it? If it's on Google, um, you can right click it and you can, where is it? And you can view image info and it tells you right here the size of that image. And you can use that to bring it into the pixel chart or uh, to help guide what you're doing. Now what about 
uh, using a JPEG or a PNG, what's the better file to use? On iPrints, we actually do like JPEGs. PNGs can sometimes bring up that black background. It just depends on how your image is saved. Um, but JPEGs do work a little better. But the problem with JPEGs is that every time somebody opens that file and closes it and sends it to somebody else's computer who opens it and then closes it and so on, it actually diminishes the quality of that image. So oftentimes you can think you have the original file, but you've had three people look at it and it's no longer original anymore. So this going to the source is your best option. So now I'm going to go to iPrint right here, and I've already uploaded the pictures of different happy faces that I want to show you. Now this first one here, I'm going to reduce the image so I can bring it over and show you in the print area. If you look at this background, you can see there's this square kind of around it. Many people think that square is white, even though it really isn't. This is, is gray or blue, and, and when you print it, that's going to show up. Um, and so you would have to use another program to crop it out um, if, if you were using iPrint. Um, now, let me show you another common problem with this one right here. Many people have heard of a JPEG, and this picture right here is a copy of a JPEG. In most PNGs, you will have this checkered background there, but um, this is a copy of a PNG where somebody screenshot it. And I know that because this is not going to show up if it's, gonna be, if it's a PNG. It's going to have no background if it's a PNG, just a straight file. But somebody copied this, did a screen print, and so those checkers are appearing there. And guess what? those checkers will print out. All right, now the next one right here, I'm going to shrink this down and bring it over. That is a patch, and I know it's a patch because I can see the little ridges on there. And those ridges uh, actually cast shadows, and you can almost see a bluish hue in here. You can see lines going through here, you can see the jagged edge, and um, so when you go to print that, that's going to have a bluish hue. Um, and as I said, you can see it if you know to look for it. If you're not knowing to look for it, you're just kind of looking at it as a happy face, you can't. And that can confuse you in knowing that this is a good image. So you really do not want to print things that are patches. You will have that blue hue, um, and there's really not a lot you can do with it. The next image I want to show you is of this cute little happy face balloon. And it looks great, like if you have it that small, right? Um, so there it is, he looks all happy, everything's grand. But if you bring him up to size, and actually, you can actually crop around him. Come on, there we go. Um, you can see all the pixelation that's going on. And the problem is, is that there's some dirt out here, that's what I like to call it. And if you look closely, it appears as like a blue hue, here's almost like a red hue. You can see the pixelation in here as well. And when you print this, the background's going to have like this bluish hue back here. And then you're going to see all this noise right up in here. And so that's not a good quality image. The image is too small to use unless you use the image in a, as a small image. Um, you, I still can see the pixelation myself uh, on that one. And then finally, we have this image right here. Let me shrink it down a little bit, click it on over. You can see that's a flat image. It looks pretty good. Um, there's no pixelation. There's no background. Um, I almost see on my screen, he's a little bit like towards the yellow greenish side, but that's okay. When he prints, he should be fine and recognized as a happy face. So what I'm going to do now is two things. Um, first, I'm going to print out this little guy. I'm going to show you how he prints when he is big. So let me go ahead and print that for you. All right, here you can see all the pixelation. It's coming out this greenish, bluish, yellowish, and there's uh, noise on the outside as well. So you can see it right there. That's not a good image at all. Next, I'm going to print out the four 
I'm going to do a, this is through uh, template designer where my design templates are. I want to do a four up just for illustration purposes. First, I'm going to take the smiley face. I'm going to bring them down in size to about there. Click over here. Eh, I want them a little bigger, right about there. And then I'm going to go to the patch and I'm going to bring the patch down to about here. Click that. And then I'm going to do the one with the PNG background that's not really a PNG and bring them down to size right about here. And then finally, last but not least, the image with the background in it that's going to show. It's not a white background. And click it over here and I'm going to go ahead and print that. All right, so I'm going to place this paper behind it, and you can see that it's showing a clearer picture. It's always good to look at a picture with a white background, not a brown background. You can see how they printed out, um, starting with the lower corner where we have the background that actually printed in the picture, just like we said it would. Then you have the copy of the PNG with the checkers, and then you have the patch showing the bluish hue. And then, of course, you have the nice yellow beautiful image for you. I'm going to peel it off the backing so you can see what it looks like. And that's a really good illustration for you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope we were able to explain some things that would help you out the best quality images you can and surprising your customers with amazing treats. So until next time, happy decorating.